Well, my friends, we have some big news when it comes to win trading, punishing people, banning them, and all this fun stuff coming into PvP seasons. Oh boy, they're going to take a big one to you if you are the bad guy. Anyways, my friends, let's talk about it, shall we? Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my SOTOR brothers and sisters! How is everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your fun SOTOR news and update from your bearded Bioware influencing guy, me. That's right. Anyways, my friends... We got some news from the forums. That's right. Yeah. So the director of live services have come out. And they will be going after hardcore these people who do cheating, hacking, and win trading within the PvP realm, and also in general. Uh, if you're not quite sure what win trading is, win trading is pretty much if you and I just you're on one team, I'm on the other team, and we come up with a decision that my team will lose all the time when we're playing ranked PvP. And we are pretty much saying, hey, you know what? I, I we'll do whatever for you if you just lose so we can get better ranks. Okay. Now, I've done this before in World of Warcraft. You know, it was not necessarily... I guess it was win trading, one could argue, because there is a certain quest to where you had to do PvP. And the majority of 99.9999% of people who do PvE hated this quest. And Blizzard actually decided not to do this again. Thank you. But when they did do it, people were win trading. They were. You would get in contact with some hoardy friends on the horde. And um, you would take turns winning and losing just to get the achievement that you needed so you can go on through the progression of the quest that you were on. So I guess one could argue that, yeah, I was a win trader without even knowing it. So there's that. However, this is a bad no-no and kind of takes away from the whole actual skill and talent of, I don't know, being ranked PvP. So I'm glad they're going to do something about it. Let's get to the forums to see what they said and what they're going to do right here. Mike Bradley says, hi all, my name is Mike Bradley because I already said that, and I work as a live producer on the SOTOR team. As Eric alluded to, I've recently been delving into ranked PvP, and I'd like to talk about win trading in our game. As win trading has become an umbrella term to describe a number of different cheating behaviors, I feel like it might be helpful to clarify at the onset some different types of manipulation that can refer to. Conspiring with others to intentionally win uh, trade wins and losses, queuing with bots to boost ratings earned per win, using multiple accounts to control the outcomes of individual matches. Any form of matchmaking manipulation to coordinate winning and losing is against our terms of service. While we are constantly evaluating and improving our existing methods for, for catching players who cheat, I realize that our current systems for reporting, catching, and punishing this behavior are not perfect. As I have read through these forums, I see a lot of understandable frustrations. I think part of the cause of this frustration is a lack of clarity on our behalf into how we punish individuals we've determined to be cheating or otherwise negatively affect the gameplay experience in PvP. I believe that we can do better, and I'm committed to de demonstrating that. I will be spearheading a number of different efforts in Season 11 to be more effectively gathered feedback from our players, educate the, the broader team on the nuances of exploitative behavior, catch those who attempt to abuse the system, ensure that they are held accountable for their actions, and report back here with as much relevant information as I can provide. There will be, however, some details that I cannot share, or perhaps specific questions that I cannot answer because doing so would reveal information that would make it easier for cheaters to evade us. I know that the vast majority of our ranked PvP, oh, no, 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 words, PvP players play legitimately and, to one extent or another, are having their experience ruined by those who would rather cheat than play fairly. I know that many of you have taken time and effort to send us detailed reports, r raise concerns here on the forums, or explain to us all the different ways that are, uh, you encounter manipulative, manipulative behavior. Please know that we are listening, that we appreciate your efforts, that we are redou redoubling our resolve on this front, and that we will be more transparent regarding our actions going forward. Actions and resets are being finalized throughout the day today for Season 10, and top 96 tier, uh, rewards will be delivered early next week. I'll report back to this thread to confirm what, when they have been sent out. 
expect to see a lot more of me on here throughout the season 11 and hopefully beyond. He says, thank you. So that's good. I'm glad I'm glad we have Mike out there um, spearheading this and going into it to not only clarify it more to us, the community, and to the PvP community, but also putting out there saying, hey, we're going to put a stop to a lot of this stuff and kind of like going, hey, there are, the main brunt of the people who play PvP, ranked PvP, are legitimate winners, legitimate skills, and all this stuff. But then you have those douche canoes out there in the world who uh, rather cheat their way to success, um, who are ruining it for everyone else. And you have those people in the real world, and I kind of totally believe they should be flogged and hanged, but that's just me. Uh, but yeah, so he continues on and clarifies some more stuff, and let's get into it and see it right here. He says, I've seen variations in this question a few times, so let me try to shed some light on why this happened. Every action that we take against an account to win trading is based on troves of data that we have collected. We look at data on every character, every match played, who they played against, how many times, at what hour, whether or not they've been caught previously, etc. And all that is used to build the most compelling case possible. Towards the end of Season 10, we cast a much more aggressive net than we have previously, using several new data points that we believe would help us see more var varieties of exploitative behavior. As we reviewed all the accounts that, we, that were caught with these latest criteria, we discovered that in certain cases, these new data points could mislead us. It became clear that rather than giving us additional conclusive evidence, there was a higher chance than we were comfortable with that we were also catching innocent players. In this case, where there was reasonable doubt, we erred on the side of caution. I know that one of your concerns is that by restoring these players, and someone had asked, you know, what happened to all the players that were that had got, gotten punishments, and why were they, after they got in punishments, uh, then, you know, allowed back in? So that's what he's referring to, sorry. Uh, he says, I, I, he continues, I know that one of your concerns is that by restoring these players, we may have allowed some win traders to get away with it. We completely hear you on this, and this is where we need to continue to improve our systems for catching them. We just didn't want to risk our net catching innocent players. We do not take or, or reverse action based on the number of reports we received on any account. We use the same rigorous scrutiny on accounts with one report of win trading as we do with accounts with 10 reports. We monitor all accounts that have been reported, but the idea that we reset or restore an account's rating based purely on the volume of reports is just false. I realize our process here is not perfect, but it does get more robust with every revision to our nets, with every batch of cheaters that we catch, with every detailed report that we receive, and with the information that is shared here. So please keep it coming. And that's really awesome on his behalf and on Sotor's behalf saying that, yeah, they're not perfect and they thought they had something really cool set up to like to be able to go catch more of these people, but inadvertently, accidentally catching some people who were actually just really good enough to make the system think that they're actually cheating. So I would like to be their friend. But that's really good when they can humble themselves and come down from the pedestal and say, hey, listen, we made some mistakes. So we're going to let some people go. Um, yes, we realize that by doing so, it's a catch. It's a double-edged sword. You're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't, right? You caught too many people, and some were innocent, and then you let go of some where most were innocent, and then some of the baddies got through. You know, it's yeah, it's a double-edged sword. Catch-22, all the other colloquialisms and euphemisms that go along with that there as well. We have another one also about wind training, some explanation of that. And let's see what else he has to say there. Mike Bradley says, up front, it might be useful to def differentiate that we punish hacking differently than wind trading. Hacking, the use of third-party software, is an egregious breach of our terms of service. And Mike, in any account, found to be hacking is much more likely to be subject to an immediate ban from the game. Players that queue into PvP and then do not participate at all are also tracked and punished sim similarly. Similarly, oh my gosh, to win traders. I've read many good ideas on this forum regarding suggestions about how we can further discourage this behavior. Please know that we are actively collecting this feedback and that I will be making a thread next week to consolidate and share ideas focused on systematic changes to curb this and other abusive behavior. And he said, wind trading punishment, past, present, and future. Punishments for wind trading have evolved over the course of several seasons. And prior to season 10, we issued warnings, m multiple day suspensions, and rating resets based on the frequency and severity of the behavior. Any individual account that was caught more than once faced at minimum a week-long suspension, a rating reset, and conversations were had about banning the account altogether. 
It's worth noting that throughout all these previous seasons, in the vast majority of cases, players do not repeat offend. Well, that's really good. We have built these escalations for the, for those that do. We reserve the right to escalate punishments more quickly at our discretion, including permanent bans. And we have absolutely done that against accounts that we feel warrant that action. Examples of this would include accounts that were found selling wind trading services. In Season 10, when we moved to our no tolerance policy, I believe we did a poor job specifying exactly how that would be different than previous seasons. Functionally, what we meant was that we did away with warnings entirely. Any account that we found trading wins would immediately get a multiple day suspension plus a rating reset. And the few accounts that did get caught up more than once faced more severe punishments more quickly up to the including bans. For season 11, however, we will be taking additional steps on top of immediate suspensions and rating resets. These may include, but are not limited to, removing all ranked PvP currency, removing all PvP rewards purchased with that currency, and removal of all unassembled components from the offending accounts. We scour the game for win traders and hackers several times a month, and we punish those accounts within the week that they are found. If it would help bridge the gap between what it seems like we do and what we act, what we're actually doing, I can put together brief reports of this on this form, or for this form once a month, describing in as much detail as I can provide the actions we've taken and if we are seeing any broad trends in the data. So this is all good, good. This is another um, thing where their communication is really coming out the shine again. And I give them, t I give it to them 100% uh, with what they are trying to do. Not only with the communicating with the community as to what is going on, but bringing more people out from the recesses of the Austin office that we have not really heard of before and bringing them to the forefront of spotlight and sometimes the front lines of the community. And so people have more of an idea of what's happening, especially in the PvP world when you have a big... Uh, problem with cheating and win trading going on there and i'm actually glad they're taking a no zero tolerance policy when it comes to this stuff they have been too light in the past and i'm glad they're doing this now for the future personally i think these people if they're going to be win trading and whatnot then they should just get an automatic permaban that's just me you know stop screwing up the game for everyone else people want to enjoy the game and have fun and grow and be a better character uh than it has been and be, you know get really get awesomely ranked in pvp and get all the things for it uh so we don't really have time or room for this type of toxic behavior uh in game let alone in forums or in life and anything like that so i am all for their zero tolerance policy there party on let me know what you think in the comment section below about this do you think it's a good idea do you think they're taking steps in the right direction or do you think no matter what they do things will still happen which one could argue yeah it will um yeah idiots sometimes the criminal idiots get better and we just have to follow suit and hope we keep keep in step with them in other words i cannot say also my friends make sure you hit that like button for all for all the things because why the more likes we get the more people see us and the more this family grows and if you really like what you see here make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your fun become part of the family here at Boomination, nation the freak show of youtube the black sheep of gaming and as always my friends remember to uh, be kind it's about community don't be a douche canoe and we'll see you later. Good day.